Hey, Cravely, Lisa Maria back again with another video. I was going to try and get everything filmed today, but I just have too many videos to make. So this is my fourth one so far today. I think this might be my last one today. Um, this is an unboxing, not so much a review yet, but an unboxing of a um, new journal, self-care journal I got. I found about I found out about this from Plan With Stormy. I'll link her uh, page below. Um, she's on Instagram and YouTube. I'll go ahead and link both. She has a YouTube channel as well. And um, I did her. I saw her flip through of this, so I figured I would try it. So I also ordered a self care course that goes with this, which I haven't tried yet, and I haven't been in this yet because I got this after I was sick. So I haven't done anything with it yet, but I wanted to share it with you guys before I got into it. Uh, the nice thing about their box is the shipping label is on the bottom. So this is the top of the box. This is what it looks like when you open it. What we think we become. It comes with a um, bookmark that also says what we think we become. And it says thank you so much for your support. Share your journey with us at Switch Research. You also get to join a Facebook group once you purchase this. So they've got a Facebook group to participate in. And then, you know, they're on Instagram and other socials and whatnot. Um, so the box is nice because I can store other stuff in it or I can, you know, store this in it when I'm done with it. And, okay, so get the bookmark out of the way. So this is what it looks like when you open it. It's got this kind of binding. I think this is called the twin loop. I'm not sure. It's like a silver color. I love the material. It's like a chipboard. Um, it feels really good and it's bigger. Like it can barely fit in this screen. If you can tell, this is the size of a um, sticker book next to it on top of it. So you can see the size difference. So it's, it's pretty big. Um, it's got a good size to it. I'm trying to, here, I'll show you the size difference. This is a big planner. So it's, uh, actually longer than the planner or taller, however you want to look at it. Uh, not as wide, but it is longer and taller than a big planner so I wanted to show you that and then I don't have a lot of detail about the journal itself other than you know it's for self-love and self-care it's from a company called switch I love this cover this is what the back looks like um okay so I was just gonna do a flip through I don't I forgot to write down the price of the journal, but I'll add the information for the website below in case you're interested in checking this out. But it wasn't super expensive. Uh, it's a 13-week guide to exploring the fundamentals of self-compassion, common humanity, and mindfulness, which I think sounds pretty good. Um, and actually, I just realized... Oh, okay. That is the first page. So that's the first page you open up to, and then... It says there's a disclaimer, important note for you to read, um, journal overview. I don't want to read through everything. I'll let you guys do that if you want to get it yourselves. Um, or if you have specific questions and you want me to read any of this to you, let me know. But it has part one, exploring fundamentals of self-compassion. Part two is expanding your self-compassion. Part three is establishing a self-compassionate lifestyle says it's page three. Oh, okay. So it is three parts. I thought there was uh, more parts. So it's three different parts. That's the different parts and pages, what it covers. Um, introduction. And if I'm not going to read through all this, I can at least read this. So part one is self-kindness, common humanity, mindfulness. Part two is self-acceptance, gratitude, self-compassion, myths, patience, and self-forgiveness attitudes towards challenges. And then part three is establishing a self-compassionate lifestyle, part one, 
part two, part three, part four. And then the last part of part three is bringing it all together. And then there's an appendix, which has intention setting 101, meditation 101, reframing self-critical thoughts and extra space for your thoughts. So there is um, room to write in the back and then there's references. And I didn't show you that. One thing I love about this binding is being able to flip it like that and show you just the one page. And, you know, it sits completely flat. So some people don't like these bindings, but I actually love them. Like, it doesn't bother me at all. I actually kind of wish it was gold, though. I think the gold color, not a rose gold even, but just like a pretty gold color would have gone really well with this orange and green. But that doesn't really matter. Um, so this is part one. This is week one, self-kindness. I love the design. I love their aesthetic. I love the way the pages feel. They feel really good. Um, so there's day two, day three. And then, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's lines down here. So you fill out the lines or use that space to do in accordance with what they're suggesting here. So it's just different ways to practice different things that they're asking you to focus on. And then week two is the common humanity and you got the cactus plant. It's pretty cool. Um, so I was just going to flip through some of the different pages. So this is week three mindfulness and it's all different sizes, all different types of questions. There's more room in the back, like I said, with extra pages, if you need it, you could always use a separate notebook if you needed to add to it, if you need more space. Um, that was all an orange color. This starts like a green color, expanding your self-compassion. So this is all green. I don't, I don't know that that really matters, honestly, other than it's pretty. <laughs> and I love their aesthetic, like I said. So they have all this in green. I mean, color coding is fine, I guess, but I don't really see how that's beneficial to how or why you're using this. Unless you wanted to use like different tab colors to mark the different, but... I don't get that involved in it. I'd rather focus more on the actual content than necessarily exactly the layout and why they did it the way they did it. Um, so then we have, oh, so that was the start of another section. Week five, gratitude, which, you know, a lot of planner folks like to practice gratitude. So it's kind of cool that there's a whole section for it. Self-compassion myths. I think I'm pretty interested to read this one. And what this is about. Like myth five, I am not worthy of self-compassion. Um, and then we got week seven, patience and self-forgiveness. I love how big these pages are. Like some people don't like big sizes sometimes, but like I'm not going to carry this around with me, right? I'm only going to use it at home, so it's fine that it's bigger. Uh, week eight, attitudes towards challenges. I love this. It's so calming. Like their whole aesthetic, I feel like is super calming. And I don't know if any of this lines up with the like classes seminar that I signed up for. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to do one or the other first or if it matters. So I'm going to look into that more once I get a chance to get into all this. Part three, establishing a self-compassionate lifestyle. So this is the last section is part three. And that's what you start with, with week nine. So this is pretty, you know, detailed and involved. Week 10, establishing a self-compassionate lifestyle. So it's nice how they break it up into so many different parts. Like, and, you know, honestly, it's not dated. So you can really do this however long it takes you. Like, you don't have to do this in a certain amount of time. Um even though it's separated by weeks, but <laughs> you can do the week whenever you want, whenever it fits into your lifestyle. Establishing a self-compassionate lifestyle. This could be part of your self-care though, filling this out. I mean, that's how I'm going to look at it. And I try to practice self-care, but I don't know. I think it's always good to learn new ways to look at self-care. Like, I feel like that's an ever-changing thing. So that's why I thought this might be interesting because maybe I don't understand self-care as well as I think I do. So 
I'm just curious if I can learn anything from this, which I'm sure I will. And I love learning. So week 13, bringing it all together. I don't know if I said week 12 or not. I think I did. So this is going over 100 pages now, folks. All right, day 91, your story. That's the last page, page 114. And then you get into the appendix. So there's still some more information here that you can use, which I think is really cool. Um, and then here's the extra space for your thoughts. So that's nice. And there's multiple pages here of that. There's a good amount of extra pages. And then there's some references. And then that's it. And as you saw, it was real easy for me to flip through this. It's super pretty. I love the way it feels. I would do a pen test. Well, yeah, I can go ahead and do a pen test because of all these extra pages here. So let me... This is a Villa Beautiful gel pen. So flip this. Test pen. So the page takes this really well. This looks and writes really nicely. Okay, so I don't write super soft so you can see my imprint a little bit, but there's no ghosting and there's no bleed through. And that's with a Villa Beautiful pen. I'd probably be writing with something like this anyway. Um, here's a Simply Gilded Gel Pen, which is pretty similar. Oh, this one writes really well too. This is like really smooth, but you can see they're kind of similar in how they look. They glide really smooth though. So that looks really good. The paper soaks it up really well. I'm also going to try out a couple other ones that I might... I'm just curious. I wouldn't use some of these, but I'm just curious if they're going to have any bleed through. Um, it's very likely that I would use a Paper Mate Flare by chance. So I'm going to try that one next. I'm just going to try all these and then show them to you. Oh, wow. That writes really good. That is super smooth. It might um, smear though. Let's see. Nope. Oh, wow. It dried right away, folks. What? All right. So that was a, uh, sorry. That's a Paper Mate Flare Medium Black. This is a Pentel felt pen. Fine point. I can't believe how uh Pentel. I can't believe how well all of these are writing. Like how gl they glide, but I probably wouldn't use this Pentel because it's Looks like it's sitting on top a little bit. Oh, but look, it didn't smear. Wow, that's crazy how good those are working. This is a Bic Intensity. It's like a fine liner. It's super thin, small tip. Um, yeah, I wouldn't use this one either. I write kind of big, so <laughs> this would take me a while. And it doesn't show up as well because it's so fine. But I was just curious like how well the ink would take or write on here. And then we got a Micron, Pigma Micron 10. I love these pens. But if I'm doing a lot of writing and kind of fast, I don't typically use this. So I probably wouldn't use this, but I knew it was a little thicker and heavier. So I was just curious if it would have any bleed through or if it would um, smear. Nope. And then this is probably the juiciest one. This is a Uniball Signo UM-153 with black ink. I love, this was my favorite pen until um, 
Paper Mate flares are pretty much my favorite pen now, but this used to be my favorite. I have a bunch of them. <laughs> I'm just curious. Nope. Okay, so nothing smeared. I just went like this, and you can tell nothing smearing. And then, wow. So I didn't look up what kind of paper this is, and I don't even think they really tell you. But look at this. Look how good this paper is. You can't even tell. Like, even from far away, look. Wow, that's amazing. I didn't realize this paper was going to be so good. And you would think they would want it to be good because there's words on each page. So, like, you're going to be writing on all these pages, right? So, like, this is, like, Archer and Olive quality paper. I can't believe that, like, none of this... And, and it didn't smear either. So, whatever this paper is, is really, really good. So, I'm pretty happy about that. All right, well, I didn't want this video to take too long either, um, but I, I don't know why I can't get this close. I did want to show, you know, a flip through of it and then the pen test. And if you're interested in this, I will have um, the information. This is also on the box. So this is some of their information. I don't know why it's not focusing. Um, but yeah, I'll add it below. And if you have any questions about it or want to know any more information, don't hesitate to reach out or put something in the comments. I'm creatively Lisa Marie here on YouTube and Instagram and Lisa Marie Getty on Facebook. I hope y'all are doing well and practicing self-love and compassion for yourselves and you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.